Bank Saudi Francis chief economist John Safianakis. So I guess you're pretty bearish. You're, you're not very optimistic about the prospects for Greece's economy or indeed their ability to meet their targets. What is behind this, this forecast of yours? Well, it's nice to see you, but um, I think in general um, the, the, the forecasts that the government put out were very optimistic. The economy is still contracting, there is high unemployment and rising unemployment, and there is the issue of what are they going to do now. They haven't been able to raise their revenues that mm -hmm. they announced they will. And at the same time, they have a very disgruntled society, which is getting fed up not with the government alone, but with the whole political system. Yeah. And on top of it, privatization and the proceeds that they're expecting to get, um, I think they're not going to be there. Because out of the entire privatization process that Greece underwent during the previous years yeah. and decade, um, amassed about 9 billion euros. So right now, what valuation are you going to get for certain of these state-owned companies? So, and you were saying that they haven't raised the revenues that they pledged to. Why is that? Well, because the, the taxation system is destructive. First of all, everybody still evades the tax system. And secondly, as they have been raising taxes, companies mm -hmm. have been falling and shutting down. So we have record number of shutting down uh, companies right now in yeah. Greece, and that's a major concern. It's that dilemma of, of austerity versus growth. But they are saying that they want to crack down on tax evaders and that once they do that, that uh, they will start bringing in more money. Hopefully, but this is, I think, a generational issue. It's going to take a, a very long time. It's going to take a long, long time. time. How long do you think? Well, I don't think it's going to be fixed in one or two years. Okay. And if you have the private sector, which is continually contracting, I think this is not helping on the tax revenue side and then they're saying that incentives are going to be lowered but still that's a big issue on top of it you have the trade unions which are extremely powerful in Greece and they're very anti Papandreou so if Papandreou cannot make it then I think very few other personalities can make it in Greece so then John with all this in mind you know we're waiting for the EU IMF review of Greece's spending cuts their privatization or asset sales what are your expectations of that report well, they're going to support Greece because right now it is a systemic threat. What the Greeks don't realize is that at some point the EU is going to be fed up with the Greeks and they're going to tell them, well, go your way and we will continue without systemically supporting you at some point. Uh, now I'm speaking to a member of uh, the opposition party in Greece, New Democracy, and, and he was saying that actually, you know, lower taxes, structural changes, asset sales will be enough to kickstart the economy. What do you make of that argument? Well, it's I know you would disagree with it, but what, tell me more about the obstacles this poses for the government and the implications for the, that second bailout package that they're trying to get. Well, it's not easy. First of all, they're saying this because at one point they want to be the, the incumbents in Greece. So the opposition will say anything. But they also have a credibility problem and deficit problem mm. because they have been lying for many years. So they cannot say that they have the recipe right because they ruled Greece for five and a half years. So lowering taxes is not really the only solution. Certainly it is an issue. What Greece has to do is become competitive because Greece doesn't produce anything. But the primary issue is that if they don't fix the deficit and they don't uh, lower the amount of public sector employees they have, they have six times more public sector employees than Sweden. And Sweden's, pop Sweden's population is 20% lower than that of Greece. So if Greece doesn't have... At, uh, at least the amount of people they have in the public sector, they have a problem. But there the key is the unions, and yeah. they cannot control the unions. And, and this is precisely the problem. I mean, this brings us right back round to the point that you mentioned that you alluded to, political unrest. Is this going to get worse? Are we going to see widespread protest? Yes, definitely. I think that uh, if anybody thinks that, you know, the EU is saying that they need consensus, they should forget about the consensus because Greece is being divided right now. The political system is being divided and there is a huge credibility deficit. I won't be surprised if people are, are gathering in front of parliament and at some point they go after the politicians. And you see that in certain instances in the past few days. Thank you so much. Great to get your thoughts, your analysis, and, and meet you in person here in the studio all the way from Saudi Arabia. John Safianakis, thank you so much.